Alright, there you go. Set her down. Okay, so what we're about to do here is a super duper reading to assist Raven and get some uh, clarity about uh, some things going on in her life. Which have been a little bit seemingly upsetting. No, that's not good. <laughs> hey, you can put it on that table. Move the chair a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. To value being free from anything that debases, contaminates, or pollutes. Huh. Now, what do you think that means in regards to the community space? This is your, this is your fucking board, not mine. You no, make but, the reading. No, but the way I do it is a lot of times it's, you ask the questions, and it's like your intuition, your insight is what brings it together. I can give you something, but the first part is, is you doing it. Yeah, but that's really, I'm just really biased then. I, I don't want to think too much of myself here. Well, I mean... Purity? Yeah. In community space? What do you think it means? So maybe it means to be... To be pure in my intentions in the community space, and that's it. Okay, next one. What a one space. <clears throat> Enthusiasm on the one on one space. Really? <laughs> and what do you think that means? That probably has something to do with the way I've been acting, actually, which is very nihilist and less enthusiast. But, um. I don't know, I guess I have an enthusiasm of, you know, the. the possible outcome. A good outcome, but there may or may not be a out good outcome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go next on this one. So, trans transformation. That's what I said. Leverage to value the power of the lead actor to influence people's decisions. So, leverage. What do you think that means? Uh, 
transformation, leverage. Um, would mean that. That's a hard one. What would leverage your transformation? What would leverage my transformation? Or how would leveraging, how would valuing leverage sort of, because you say you're going through a lot of transformation. And how, how do I think it's going to leverage me? Yes. Or how could you, like it seems to me our whole species is going through a transformation. And this is in the sacred sacred space. So how can that like it seems to me that the sacred is missing from the sort of spiritual activist movement. I mean it's there but I don't know. Leverage seems to mean that you're bringing in more power at the right place. See that's what I was thinking. So we'll move on from that. Okay. <laughs> Personal space, eloquence. To value speech or writing that is vivid, forceful, fluent, graceful, and persuasive. Eloquence and personal space. And that's like in your personal space. That's like in your blogging, that's in your writing, that's in your expression. Mm -hmm. And I, I think you do have eloquence when you choose to use it. Yeah, it really sucks though. I keep deleting these long ass articles I write and they're so fucking rad and they're real, they're raw and in your fucking face. And then I accidentally hit like the space button and it disappears. <laughs> and it's just like, why do I even bother? <laughs> and it's happened one too many fucking times. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, the group space. <laughs> Moving on. Group space. Joy. <laughs> Yeah. Joy, joy, nice. joy, happy, happy joy. Nice. So what? Get get some sort of mini chub hanging out with my friends. Do you like being enjoyed? I do and I don't. Explain. Because when we're joyful, we don't pay attention to what's going on around us and we're not focused. I have a hard time with that one. Mm. Would you be joyful if people were paying attention and focused? I would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So maybe there's a way to uh, bring the two together. 